Hello students, in today's video we are going to study how insulin and glucagon control blood glucose levels. Blood glucose levels are maintained within the range of 70 to 110 milligram glucose per deciliter of blood known as glucose homeostasis. Now this blood glucose level is achieved by the opposing but balanced actions of glucagon and insulin. Now after meal or eating food when blood glucose levels rise, insulin is released from pancreatic beta cells. Now insulin enables increased uptake of glucose by the cells of body specifically adipose tissues and skeletal muscles. Now this glucose is utilized by the cells to produce energy or ATP by the process of glycolysis. Now excess glucose is stored in the liver as glycogen and glycogen is synthesized by the process of glycogenesis. So in this way increased blood glucose after the meals reduce again and come back to normal homeostatic levels. So insulin reduces blood glucose levels and maintains glycemic control. Now on the contrary during sleep and in between meals when we are not eating and so the blood glucose levels fall, glucagon is released from pancreatic alpha cells. Now glucagon promotes glucogenolysis and thus glycogen stored in the liver breaks to release glucose in the blood. But during prolonged fasting, glucagon promotes hepatic and renal gluconeogenesis to increase the blood glucose levels. And thus substrates like lactate, amino acids, glycerol, etc. are converted to glucose. Thus reduced blood levels rise and come back to the normal homeostatic level. So, glucagon increase blood glucose levels and maintain glycemic control. Thus, insulin and glucagon work in harmony, counterbalance each other to stabilize blood glucose levels. Hope this clears your basic concept of insulin and glucagon. Thanks for watching.